I'm showing end-to-end -end network service orchestration using the new Nokia CloudBand network director. Our use case is dynamic enterprise uh, services, or also known as uh, virtual CPE. We have a lot of customers who are interested in this use case and uh, who are interested in uh, adding more services and doing them more effectively than has been possible up to now. There is many different ideas of network services. In our case, we are referring to the Etsy definition of network services. When we look here to this slide, uh, we see an example of a network ser service consisting of four different network functions, two physical network functions. Uh, for example, the CPE is uh, one of these Nuage Network's uh, CPE gateways, and uh, two virtual network functions that are deployed in the data center, and another uh, router physical network functions as a data center board or router. And these functions are connected using virtual links and service chains. Uh, as you see on this slide, the functional view is translated to a uh, Tosca model using virtual links and connection points, and that in turn is translated to uh, the specific network concepts of the uh, SDN controller, like domains, subnets, uh, and so on. The benefits for the service provider are that they can expand their addressable market from the large enterprise segment also to the mid-market and even small uh, business market. Uh, we can, uh, of course, repeat, make the services much more repeatable uh, than they used to be. Uh, the uh, operational processes are automated and this way we can uh, deploy tens of services per day where we could do maybe one service per day in the past for uh, the large enterprises. So that's this automation aspect, this uh, template-based approach that we're supporting with the CloudBand Network Director. We're taking a template-based approach based on the latest uh, Etsy standards. Our second main focus is uh, service assurance, where in the past uh, people have focused mostly on fulfillment in all the trials that we have done. We're now moving to uh, assuring that the service that is deployed in, in the real uh, market is functioning well and if something is going wrong that we can quickly identify the source of the problem. We're doing this with uh, OpenStack Vitrage, an, an open source solution that we have integrated into CloudBand Network Director. We have deduced alarms that allow us to uh, identify which other parts of the system are affected when there is a failure in one element. You will see now the uh, operator interface of the CloudBand network director. Uh, there is normally for an end customer, there will be a self-service portal on top of CloudBand network director, communicating using northbound APIs with uh, the CBND. Uh, so, but this is what the operator will be seeing. Here you have uh, the catalog. There is three network services right now onboarded using their Tosca templates. Uh, for example, here we have the uh, Dynamic Enterprise Service with two versions of it. And I'm going to instantiate one of the versions now, version two, for a customer. So let's say Tasty Soft Drinks, for example. And here is a set, a set of parameters as defined in the Tosca template that can be used to customize the service to the customer's specific requirements. So then I go ahead and deploy the service. So here is the set of network service instances our service is currently deploying. And uh, this one 
has already been deployed earlier and I'm going to select this one to show you a little bit the capabilities. So we have uh, four different network functions. We see here the service chains that have been uh, created. There's two chains uh, starting from the NSG CPE device with the two virtual network functions all the way to the uh, data center border uh, router. And uh, this is the opposite direction. These service chains are designed for HTTP uh, traffic, but it's very easy to add additional service chains for other sorts of traffic, such as video traffic or management traffic. Now, uh, in this picture, you see the uh, different entities of the service. So here is our network service with the four different network functions that have been created. Uh, and I will now show you what happens when one of these network functions goes out of service. So I'm going to switch over to uh, OpenStack. I'm going to suspend this network function. Now it's suspended. And uh, after a while, you will see a set of error objects appear on this screen. OK, so here you see the uh, virtual network function that I suspended. It has an error object attached to it. And here is a derived error object on the overall network service because this is important because when one of the virtual network functions doesn't function anymore, of course, the end-to-end -end service is, is also uh, not working anymore. So this is using OpenStack Vitrage, uh, a root cause analysis tool that we have initiated and that we've integrated here into the CloudBand product.